In Japan, we make many plans. We study hard for big exam. We go to the university. We work for good company, and then we have family approved marriage. My fiance was unfaithful to me, so I had to break up my plan. I quit my job at Matsumoto Electric Company and decided to come to America. I told my family I want to have independent American experience. I want to study English and learn about America. I want to visit Yosemite National Park and I want to see Golden Gate Bridge. My friend Chikako wrote me from Japan. She said, I will be lonely in America. I told her not to worry. America is very big. I can find a friend. When I first came to United States, my family wrote me every week. Their letters were always the same. They say, Kyoko, come home. America is not like Japan. Just take a message. Sure. I bet it's Michelle, Ken. She wants you. Michelle and I broke up. No kidding. Hey, Ken, don't worry about it. When this band starts gigging, you can have all the women you want. Yeah, that's how I met Dee Dee. Is she the blind one? Fuck you, man. She's a high school senior. I'm happy for you, Marky. Yeah, shut up. Forget women. What are we gonna do with the money when we make it big? I'm gonna buy a limo with a jacuzzi in it, just like Isaac Hayes did. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a lot of drugs like Elvis. Ken, was your sister Mimi. She wants you to call her back. She said it's important. Thanks, Nina. Sure, anytime. You guys can get back to work now. Aren't you gonna stay and listen to us, Nina? I just ate. Hey guys, this next one's dedicated to Peter Green and to Ken on the tragic loss of his girlfriend. Hey guys, as we all know, there's a certain amount of posturing that goes on with this music. The basic idea is to try to look like you're having a good, high-energy time on stage, okay? Because if you have a good time, then the audience is going to have a good time. So, for example, never just hit a note. Always make the most out of it. Grimace. Never just hit a note like this. That's lame. No one's going to enjoy themselves. Go like this. Okay? You guys don't seem very enthusiastic. This is a lifestyle, not a hobby. Say, Ken, do you have the first Backstreet Crawler LP? The band or the Casa solo? Solo. Yeah. 
How about loaning that to me? It's out of print. I'll take it for you. That'd be great. There is some gut-wrenching guitar on that LP. Yeah, Kossoff was great. Too bad he died. Yeah, he's in rock and roll heaven with Jimmy. Excuse me, but do you guys know how to talk about anything but rock and roll? What, what else is there? Nina. What did you think of that last one we did? Good, real good. It was an original. Mm-hmm. Honey, you don't seem very supportive. I'll get more enthusiastic when you get more successful. How did someone intelligent like you ever end up going out with a guy like Richie? We used to go to the same laundromat. Hey, please, please. Do you mind if we don't talk about my personal life? Oh, sensitive. No, Marky, I'm not sensitive. I just think we'd be a lot better off talking about the band, okay? Isn't rock and roll kind of dead? I mean, it seems like you'd be better off getting into some Ornette Coleman, harm melodic jazz or something like that. I mean, that music has a lot more potential. Well, Nina, the problem with that is that you have to know how to play to do that kind of music. Well, if you play somewhere, we'll come see you. That'll be...